winning in this league and, and um, you know teams are going to play hard every night no matter what so um, you just have to play hard every night and, and um, you know try and win. Favorite battle of Ontario moment uh, for you? Um, I don't know the one the one I was talking about with uh, my old AHL coach was yeah. Travis Green and when um, Tucker was in the bench fighting and then Alan McCauley went to go like break it up and then I see Greener just come flying throwing sucker punches and uh, let him know that was a pretty good moment uh, that's kind of one that sticks out. The opportunity to play regularly now, Frank, what's it meant to your consistency as you, you work on positioning gaps and all that goes with it? Yeah, I mean, it's as a young player, you, you have to show you're consistent, and that's, uh, you know, that's every day, having a, you know, high intensity level every day and, and working hard in practice and, and in the gym. And, um, you know, it's not easy. It's obviously a process, but, uh, you know, it's something that kind of never stops. And still maintaining that you keep things simple, a really a successful way of approaching it. Yeah, keep things simple, uh, play your game. Um, um, you know, obviously jump in the rush when I can and, and uh, make things happen with the puck. But, um, you know, my, my whole goal is to just keep things simple, play my game, and um, see what happens. You and Brad are looking nasty. I mean, I saw that happen in Boston the other day. He's taken one as well. More painful than it looks or perhaps less? Uh, just about as painful as it, as it looks. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's getting better. <laughs> You've talked a lot about how you grew up a Leaf fan and you're, you're very proud to be. How, what is it like going into your first Battle of Ontario game? in Ottawa where there's always a big kind of leaf contingent here. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, you know, like it's it's one of those things I grew up watching, especially with the playoff series. That's what kind of uh, made it a big deal was all those playoff series. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to be a part of it as a player. It's not something you you think you're going to be a part of. And, um, you know, you still, still remember some of the guys like Alfredson and Yashin and, uh, you know, guys that, you know, you, you kind of hated growing up. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be playing against Ottawa. I think there's only one guy left left over, Chris Neal. He's the, yeah. He played on the last of those teams, right? He's, he's, he's the guy that... Oh, Phillips, that's right. Yeah. He's the guy that hit Tucker when Tucker went into the benches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right.